Hello everyone. Um, I got another video to make. I got another request from um, Augusto, from Augusto RC, and uh, he wanted to know how to set and um, assign the potties to each individual for configuration, what you want to uh, actually make any kind of adjustments in flight. You can actually assign all of these pots and the switches and everything on the radio to different values. And it's, uh, it's actually a really cool thing. So there's no more having to go into menus. You can actually adjust it all in flight. Makes it nice and easy, makes it quick, makes it, uh, makes it pretty super, super cool. So what Mikado did was um, they added this functionality to the V-Control Touch. Now you can do it with the V-Control. You can just assign one switch to, you know, one or two switches to two on the front. You can assign those to the parameter lock and unlock modify. This is different. You don't have to do all that work in order to make it work, which is kind of cool. So what you can do is you slide over here, and once you're connected to your helicopter, you can't do it without being connected to the helicopter. You want to go to model setup, and then you want to go to uh, model tools, and then modify configuration. And when that comes up, you see all the pots that are available to be adjusted. You see all the, the pots left and right, which are the two here. Um, the trim tabs, which is the four trim tabs that are up here. And then you switch your optional switches. You can assign up the, those switches as well. So when it comes down to it, you have so many things you can make adjustment with. Um, it's really cool. So let's say uh, your potty front left, you want to add something to it. Let's say I want to adjust, I want to do the main rotor style on that one. And on this one, I want to make it, um, uh, let's go with the expo. Well, let's make agility. It doesn't really matter what you pick. You, you can pick whatever you like and put on these things, gains and stuff like that. Okay, so I got those things there. Now, the cool thing about it is you can also limit the range at which you're actually making changes. So right now, my expos are at zero. That's what's in the radio. That's what I've had default. That's what I've changed them to. But if I want to change the range, and let's say I want to go to a maximum of 50, all you got to do is go to the, the maximum here, you tap the button, and then you lower the range down to whatever you want it to be. Let's just say to make it 50, you hit enter. And let's say I'm already at zero, so I, want, I don't want to go to zero, and I want to make it, uh, make it 20 okay so now whenever I make my adjustments from this point on everything I do is going to be only within the range of 20 to 50 which is uh, an amazing thing so before when you hit the parameter lock and unlock these button these um, knobs were not um, digital they're analog and so what had happened is if you had the knob to the left or all the way to the right it would jump to that number first and then go back down to whatever you adjusted when you turned it but now it's stepped to whatever whatever position you have it in, and when you make that adjustment, it's already done inside the radio. You don't have to change it. You don't have to worry about it being way too much or way too little. Um, it's going to be right there where you want it to be, which is awesome. So now when I enter and I exit everything, and I'm going and I want to make an adjustment in the air, I come up here and I roll up and down. I'll be adjusting the same the 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 values inside the uh, the neo in flight up and down. Now you can actually set it, you can actually use your you use the Define Screen app and put that on the main screen so you can see the actual values you're adjusting and see what position you're in when you're doing it. So you don't have to worry about, okay, where, where are my numbers? I'm not quite sure. Well, this will allow you to see what those are in flight so you don't have to worry about, okay, well, I adjust it and it's not done. And of course, you know, there's always the ability to lock the screen if you don't want to touch anything on the screen after that or if you want to see it from here, you can as well. So you can adjust these numbers up and down. Once you're out of the screen, of course, I have my, my center set. So when you hit beat when it gets to the middle, and that way I know that my, my center is where it needs to be. Um, one other cool option that you can do is um, you can make all this stuff, like when it says relative or not relative, um, you can go in and, and that and signs basically a value to what's going to be the closest in between the two. So it'll be an actual adjustment or a little bit of adjustment. So. Um, if you look here, when you hit your question as well, you can actually look and you can read what it tells you what the parameters so, but it tells you exactly how it does, um, how everything's worked. And if you read below, it says, switches can only operate absolute transmitters, so it is not possible to let them be relative, which means it's either an on value or an off value with the switches. So um, you can't make it to where it's, it's actually th three quarters of a throw. It's only gonna be off or on. Now it'll be off or on for the value you assign, but you can't make it off or on uh, in between. So um, that's a quick video on how to do that. And uh, if you have any questions, hit me up and I'll, I'll see if I can answer them for you. Uh, MikadaUSA.com. Uh, you can hit me up at vstabby at MikadaUSA.com. 
uh, on Instagram at Laughing Still, on YouTube at Laughing Still, and I'm also on forums. So uh, talk to you later.